Lilly has a long history of being a pioneer in automated synthesis. In 2015, we thought about the need for doing something more. Could we go where no one has really gone before in automating the entire drug discovery process? My role was to lead a very creative team of scientists and engineers to create an unprecedented lab, but still deliver on time and on budget. It took us three years to build the system, including a first year for construction of the lab space. One of the initial drawings uh, that I did of what the lab may look like, where we drew out the concept of having fully automated modules being overseen by a higher level automation scheduling software. It really acts like the, the air traffic control tower at an airport. We partner with uh, multiple companies and we ask each one of them to bring their A game. And it's actually been amazing to see the system being built in several sites and locations across the US and Europe and then being shipped here and assembled all together in, in the lab space. So now we have an entire ecosystem that is physically connected and virtually connected um, to get answers sooner. A process that through more traditional uh, means can take up to one or two weeks. In this laboratory, we can do it in two to three days. When we were planning the Lilly Life Science Studio, we were really focused on what we called the four R's. So we wanted something that was reproducible. There's really no better way of doing that than with automation. We wanted something that was responsible. And we achieved that by reducing our footprint of the amount of reagents and materials we're using. And so we're being a responsible steward to the environment. We wanted something that was relationship building. We wanted it to be a collaboration hub. The thought there is that it will be accessible not only by Lilly scientists, also by collaborators in biotech and academia outside of the Lilly walls. We wanted something that was rewarding. We built Lilly Life Sciences Studio for the next generation of researchers out there who want to make a difference in the world, a system that can continue to evolve as technology evolves and as research evolves so that we can ultimately make uh, life-saving and life-changing medicines for patients around the world. The Lilly Life Sciences Studio literally reinvents the paradigm of drug discovery. It's a first-of-its-kind research ecosystem. It's a resource available to scientists to empower hypotheses in a way that's never been delivered before. It's just really exciting because nothing like this has ever happened before. A scientist can design compounds and have them synthesized and then test them in biological assays, all in an integrated fashion. The studio comprises research functions that have historically resided in individual departments or organizations. So each of those functions may operate very effectively, but as a process whole, it's a rather ineffective process. And so the Lilly Life Sciences Studio, as an ecosystem, brings together these components from the design of a molecule to test a hypothesis to the synthesis all the way through to the purification, plating, and ultimately the biological analysis of a sample and provides real-time information to the scientist versus what's historically uh, can be a multi-week process. In a typical lab, you would have operators that would move your samples between the different islands of automation. With the Life Sciences Studio, we now have a magnum ocean track that ties together all of these different areas. This is also a paradigm shift where instead of a robot moving to a sample, you now have the sample moving to the robot. Even though all of the modules are really considered islands of automation, these are all tied together through the master scheduler so they can all communicate with one another. This allows us to have a system that is scalable, flexible, and maintainable. It gives us the ability that as new cutting edge techniques and science come out, we're able to quickly add those onto the system and open them up, not just to one researcher, but to a broad research collaboration. The submitter can be anywhere in the world and present work to the studio for work to be done. Once the order is placed, a lab technician in San Diego We'll take the compounds and place them in the input-output module. Once that happens, the master scheduler will request those samples to be moved to a new module for processing. We have a very extensive camera system that allows a remote user to track their sample as it goes through the system. The requester can then get his data through a web portal and find out exactly what was made on the local system. 
So for Lily scientists, this laboratory will move them to the next level of productivity and insight. For example, when uh, scientists are at home with their families, the lab will still be relentlessly executing their experiments. The most exciting thing about the Lily Life Science Studio is that it's going to be addressing some of our needs to reduce cycle times and go faster on projects to make go-no-go -go decisions. And ultimately, it's that innovation that's going to be able to bring the right drug to the right patient in a timely fashion. We want the outward facing experience for the lab to not just be for a medicinal chemist. We want it to be approachable by people with different disciplines than, than a chemist, uh, biologists, um, physicists. Uh, one way we do that is that the software that a user would interact with will allow them to design molecules using a, a drawing tool, but then it can take that molecule and retrosynthetically break it down into the, the building blocks that would be required to make it, as well as determining what that recipe is. Um, once you have that put together, you submit, and then all that complexity of actually doing the, the synthesis is all taken care of by the software. The system can also be used where a chemist wants to see what can be made on the platform. And that's where the system could recommend compounds based on availability of starting materials, the type of chemistry that the system can run well. So there's different ways that the, the submitter can actually engage the platform. Chemists spend a lot of time trying to find compounds. It's, it's not a defined science, it's kind of an art. The software will determine what building blocks are in the inventory right now, what, what has to be purchased. It can give you what the price was gonna be, what the time period is, because certain things take a while to get. So the ability to take all that away from the chemist and have it all automatically generate, that's another big, huge advantage for the system. The, one of the main differences in how scientists use the system versus the, the previous platforms is, is that the, the deliverable before was compound in a bottle, where the deliverable in this platform is the data associated with that compound, which is a key difference and really allows for a wider user base to access this platform. The sample management and reformatting suite currently has five modules. It consists of two automated stores, an input-output module, and then a way module, and a module for reformatting samples. So the Verso stores actually allow us to store many different container types. What is unique about them is we can now pick these different types of containers to build orders, and we can actually pick millions of samples to run on this system. So the input-output module allows the operator to have one touch point to be able to put samples on the system and take samples off of the system. This is very important because we really want to do positive sample tracking of every sample that's moving on the system at any time. In the high volume reformatting module, we have the ability to reformat samples between the different vial types, tubes, and microplates that we will use in the different assays. The low volume reformatting module allows us to build assay ready plates to be used in our biological testing assays. One of the key technologies with this platform is the reagent encapsulation, where this system can dispense solids, oils, viscous liquids, and deliver them into uh, encapsulated reagent containers that just like a, a coffee pod that is just single serving, the right amount, the right quality, the right strength, the waste is minimal. That's how we've approached storing and delivering reagents uh, to reactions using just the right amount of material. This just-in-time reagent paradigm that we're implementing on this platform brings a level of uh, standardization and, and quality to the sample management uh, storage process. The synthesis suite of the Lily Life Sciences Studio leverages a decade worth of experience in automated synthesis by Lily to create an entirely new way to do molecule design, synthesis, and purification. It includes the synthesis and analytical purification module number one, where reagents are combined into a reaction vial, and then that reaction vial can be staged to either run immediately or run at some future time that the scientist might prefer. When we looked at the synthesis suite of the Lilly Life Sciences Studio, 
we looked at new or innovative solutions to create a fully automated synthetic chemistry workflow. The pinning technology is a very new concept and we were the first company to embark on, on this type of, of fully automated reaction preparation. Unlike previous platforms where we had to do each step discreetly and independently, now this technology and the way that we've designed this platform, uh, multi-step chemistry in a single vial is a reality. This de-siloing of different scientific functions now allows a compound designer such as myself to be able to design a molecule and then that biological data is captured all on one platform without me having to make multiple requests. What would have taken a few weeks to a month to go through that full design cycle is now down to days to hours. At the time this amazing adventure started, I was asked if I wanted to join the team and I said for sure yes. I had no doubt I wanted to, to, um, to be part of this team. For the very first time, we will be moving from crude reaction to pure isolated material in a straightforward and fully automated manner. What we want to, to um, provide our chemists, our scientists, is a very, very efficient way to get data that will allow them to do the right decision very quickly so they can really accelerate the uh, progress of, the, of their research projects. This is what is really important here. We generate roughly 15 to 20 percent annually of the entire Lilly compound collection that goes to biological screening. We then took the next step and began designing an ecosystem that included the automated synthesis component, but additional components as well, including purification, analytical, and then ultimately biological testing. The experiments that I run are run on benchtop automation equipment, and a lot of these routine cell-based assays and biochemical assays we can put on the Lilly Life Sciences Studio. With the convenience of coming in the next day to work and having an email with all the data. Science is always evolving and advancing, and one of the great things about the Lilly Life Sciences Studio is that it's designed to expand and evolve with it. So as new scientific technologies are being discovered and developed, the Lilly Life Sciences Studio is always relevant and current. Once a compound is produced, this lab has the ability to then do a, a second round that will be the, the biological assay and, the, and gather the biological data. So not only can you make the compound, but then you can make a decision that you're going to look for activity through this range of biological processes. And then you're even one step further in making a de decision on whether this is something that's valuable or not. With the Lilly Life Sciences Studio, we wanted to make the experience for the submitter and the customer as close to how they would be working in the lab themselves. So the combination of the analytical data with an image helps to inform the scientist in real time the state of their reaction. Key component of this lab is the ability to track the data from the very beginning of the order all the way through to the end. We know all the conditions that it ran through. We know the different reagents that were used. We know the building blocks. We know where they came from. We know how long they'd been stored. So we have data on every possible component of the process. And if something didn't fail or if it came out really good, we, we can reproduce exactly what happened. The standardization and the quality of data that we're collecting on this platform makes the ability for the system itself to make decisions or recommendations say, this reaction only went 10% complete, but it went 10% complete because the wrong solvent was used or we didn't heat it to a high enough temperature. As a chemist, I can look at that data and make, make that decision. But if I was not a synthetic organic chemist, I would look at that data and not know what to do with it. Now we have a system that is able to analyze that data and then make a recommendation on that next experiment to be run and be able to launch that experiment on behalf of that submitter. So the submitter doesn't even have to be involved in that resubmission. We also have a, a vendor that specializes in data analysis and they produced a completely novel package for us that runs on one of the modules, is coordinated through the master scheduler, and it collects data 
through each step of the process, uses it to make decisions, but also gives you this complete data package at the end that uh, submitter can then use to um, decide to go forward with that compound, to modify the compound, uh, or to abandon that effort. Also, not only can you make the compound, but then you can make a decision that you're gonna look for activity through this range of, of biological processes. It will take that compound, resuspend it, run those assays, get that data, and then you're even one step further in making a de de decision on whether this is something that's valuable or not. It is um, doing the work of an entire medicinal chemistry lab as well as a uh, quantitative biology group. When I first saw what they were trying to do, I kind of thought they were crazy. The Lilly Life Sciences Studio represents a paradigm that has never been done before. There's never been anything like this done ever in the world. Nothing like this exists. Come and join us in, in this stream. It's a story of trust, engagement, commitment. This is reality.